Okay, I'm back. I'm just trying to keep these short so it won't take so long to load. But um, for this week's assignment, I want you to carefully read Chapter 2. And there are some um, study tips that I, I do that uh, I've posted for you on the announcements page. And, uh, you know, if you really take those things to heart, I know it's a lot of work, but if you really follow those instructions, you'll get the most you can get out of the reading. And, I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to get your money's worth. So read Chapter 2. Then I want you to answer a question that I've posted for you on the discussion board. And then I want, I've got a sample article for you. This is just a you know, random sample article that has been pulled from a journal. And so I want you to read this article and then write a critique about it. So really put on your you know, critical thinking cap or whatever and say, okay, is this article, I mean, does this make sense? Are there possibly some loopholes in this? Is the person, did they use the right amount of people? Would this apply to me? Are there problems with this? Or is this really good, you know? And so does this make a good case? So I want you to think about the article that way. And then you're going to write a critique and upload it to the Live Text system. So that's why you got to have the Live Text account to be able to log in and then upload your, your um, document. You'll save it as a Word doc. But anyway, there'll be more detailed instructions about this. Um, but that's the basic idea. Um, as far as your DB question goes, I want you to think of a question that you maybe have already had, um, something you've wondered about, something you're interested in that you think would be, you know, an interesting thing to try to find out. And so that's, there's actually two parts to this DB. The first is, you know, write your question. What is it that I'm interested in? What do I want to find out? And then the second part is, all right, what's a good way for me to go about finding this out? I mean, how would I, how would I possibly answer this question? And so just take an initial stab at it and sort of just put down your ideas about, you know, I've always wondered about this, but what would be a good way to answer this question? Okay, so after you've done that, I want you to um, read at least two other classmates' posts and read what they say, read their question, and then think, okay, and provide them some feedback. I mean, would that be a good way? Would that, the way that they came up with, would that actually answer the question? Or are they missing something? Or is it spot on? You know, you just so kind of give them some feedback about that. And really think, you know, try to think about all the possibilities because this can get really uh, kind of complicated. And uh, one of your classmates is interested in the legal area. And so I, I wrote him an email back about this. But um, this is very logical. This is analytical. If you like any kind of like logic puzzles, I've always liked that kind of stuff. That's what this is about. You know, try to think of all the different angles and how you could go about answering that question. Well, this um, discussion board question and then also your, uh, your article critique kind of sets you up for a project that you'll be doing. Uh, it's an assignment. It's going to actually span several weeks. So, you know, it'll be going on in the background while you're doing your quizzes and your reading and so forth. But the final um, assignment will be your last assignment right before the final exam. All right, so I'll tell you more about that next week, but just go ahead and get started with this. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or to post it in that Ask Your Instructor little section of discussion board. Um, really, I kind of get the emails faster than I do the Ask Your Instructor, but either way is fine. So any, I hope you all have a great week, and um, so see you later. Bye-bye.